Don't let your day job become your life job. That's a chapter in my book called The Art of Survival Guide. The link below. So what do I mean don't let your day job become your life job? Here's what I mean. So for you artists out there or for anybody with a big goal and vision to have this dream become a reality, whatever your passion is, sometimes we have to detour. Right? We all have to live. We all have to survive. We have to pay the rent. We have to feed ourselves as we're moving toward our dream job or our dream goal as an artist, whether it's you want to be on Broadway, you want to be a pop star, you want to be a filmmaker, whatever, that's going to be an actor, right? So you have to support yourself. But here's what happens so many times, and it's a dream killer. The day job that you're using to sustain yourself becomes your life job because you get comfortable. You start saying, hey, wait a minute, I can go out to eat. I can buy some new clothes. I can buy some new shoes. And that income from the day job, which is not your dream and goal, makes you complacent. It makes you become comfortable, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with making money. I love the idea of making money. There's tons of it and you can do it and you can do it as an artist. That's what my book, The Art of Survival Guide is all about. How to create a sustainable income with your art while you're pursuing your goals and dreams as an artist. But we may need to have a detour. We may need to have a job that's helping us live while we go for our dream and goal. The key, guys, is not to let that day job overtake you. Not to let that day job become the job of your life and your dreams because you get comfortable. Because what will start happening is you start making that money. You start saying, oh, well, you know what? I don't have to go to that audition or I don't have to put that EP out. I don't have to do that. I'm not going to spend time writing today because the job that is making you the money that you may be growing in is now making you comfortable. Again, there's nothing wrong with buying new clothes and taking yourself out to eat as long as it doesn't derail you from going to where you want to go, from achieving that goal and dream. So what do you do? You harken back to that video I put out the other day. Why are you pursuing that dream job that you want, that goal, that vision? What is it deep inside of you that's making you go for that? What is that fire that's burning inside? So when you start to get complacent, when you start to think, mm, maybe I can take this gig and maybe I'll just put the other thing on the back burner, go back and look at that list. Look at what your dream goal is and look at the why. Why are you doing it? Do you want from me? It's about affecting positive change on the world. Whenever I think about that, I get excited about going out and creating and doing concerts and talking to people and speaking. What is it for you, right? Don't let your day job become your life job. It's a chapter in the book, The Art of Survival Guide. You can grab it here. It's a cool chapter and it'll shed some light on a lot, uh, a lot more about what I'm talking about. So go grab it, guys. You can get it at jamesbarber.com slash ASG book. But remember, go for your goals, go for your dreams, but you have to take action. And hey, while you're here, click that button below to subscribe to my channel. And remember, guys, we've all got dreams. What are you going to do to make yours a reality? Don't sit in complacency. A dream without action is just that, a dream. Action creates traction. It's time to make your dream a reality.